Oh yeah, we have something good coming up. I told you we'd be back to see this. And we are indeed back at Rotary Botanical Gardens in Janesville, Wisconsin for their holiday light show. And if just what we can see from the parking lot is any indication, I think we're in for a big treat. All right, are you ready to do this? Yeah, it wasn't too long ago that we were out here to check out the fall colors. And we are back. And one of the first things I noticed is that they have the pass lit by milk jugs. I do see an air web ahead, so I think there is a recommended path. Certain areas are chained off, so I don't think we're going to be able to just roam free, but... Either way, this is going to be pretty epic. Man, this is amazing. Shining like a diamond. This is really a cool shade of blue. I think we do. I think we walk through that later. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I remember that slide. It's amazing how different these places look at night. You just almost don't recognize them. All right, we're about to enter the North Pole. Yes, we indeed have entered the North Pole. And there go Santa and his reindeer. And Rudolph leads them pack, heading off into the moonlight. This is the Elf Workshop. I absolutely love the way they have these lights hanging down from the trees blocked off, but I believe we'll get closer to there soon. This is Santa's workshop. Oh my, so much blue goodness here. <laughs> Funny as it may sound, blue is my favorite Christmas color. 
at least as it comes to Christmas lights. Okay, I definitely recognize where we are now. There's the big chair. Oh my goodness, check this out. I recognize this little garden area as well. Wow. Okay, we can't walk around it, but This is amazing. Not only the lights here, but the way the lights are strung down from the trees, in the background, oh, just beautiful. This is great. We have a red and white theme going on here. This is really cool. The milk jugs. I don't know why this stands out to me so much. It's just a little Christmas light inside the milk jug, but cool idea. They were already setting up for this during our fall adventure, but I think you can understand why now. I am just at a loss for words right now. And we have reached the pond. That Japanese bridge is off in the distance. And I think that is a Japanese garden over there. And it's getting better and better. This is so cool. Love the way these lights are. Just walking under this. This is like something I've never seen before. Would you look at the size of those Christmas lights? And they have another chair over here. <laughs> the roving garden gnomes. Okay. Here. And there's something about a blue Christmas tree that really appeals to me. Have these red lights hanging off the trees. Now that's funny, I used to have something like this a long time ago. When I first got married, but it eventually broke, the lights died or something. If you're a botanical garden, you need to have flowers, right? And they represent very well. I think we're coming up onto something good here. So what do you think about this place so far?
check out this gazebo. Absolutely love the snowflakes hanging there. No surprise that little dirt path around the pond is not accessible, but I remember when they were setting up this train, <laughs> it had kind of fallen down from the wind. But here it is lit up. Okay, I remember the gazebo now. It's a little chilly tonight. Not bad though. And I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but the water is kind of steaming. Giving a neat little effect around the Christmas lights. Now I've seen a few light shows in my day. Vlogged many on this channel. But this may be the best so far. All right, another familiar sight. Our observation deck. The light reflection on the water is really cool. Purple. Our girls would like this. Oh, and there's that winding path. I don't think we're going on that either, though. That would be a no. But I kind of get it. At night, that can be considered a safety hazard. And I think we're in the Japanese garden area now. Yeah, it is. I don't think we're going to be able to walk on all the little windy paths, understandably, but yeah, I think this is the Japanese garden. Lit up very nicely. Endless colored lights. A little bridge right over there. Amazing. A better look at the bridge. This little pond already has some ice on it.
And there's the bridge. And indeed, we aren't able to cross it. I didn't even notice that dragon. Oh, and we're not done yet, folks. Still plenty more to see. I mean, I'm not even sure how much there is still. Other than little windy paths that you can understand would be closed. Pretty much I've covered the entire park so far. Yeah, we're just getting started with our holiday vlogs, but we might not be able to beat this. <laughs> Yeah, we won't be going inside today, but the Japanese garden looks amazing. I think we may be getting towards the end now. We're approaching the big garden area. I think we may be able to take another look inside the Japanese garden. And we are back where we started. There's those flowers. Rotary Botanical Gardens in Janesville, Wisconsin. The video speaks for itself. I absolutely love this place. Too adventurous here. And this is quickly becoming my favorite botanical garden. And only an hour from McHenry. $12 adult admission. $5, I believe, for kids. This truly is a no-brainer. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. This is definitely a good start to the holiday season. Make sure to subscribe, and we'll see you in the next holiday video.